Welcome to the Reddit Chronicles. Today we will be reading from Am I the Jerk? Our first post is by Midnight Storm. Am I the jerk for telling my sister her son is only special to her? I, F26, have three older siblings. This is about my oldest sister, Abby, F37. Abby has a son, five, and I have a daughter, one. Abby dealt with years of fertility issues and had probably 10 plus miscarriages. Then she had her son and of course he was Abby's miracle rainbow baby, we were so happy for her. But then it leads to Abby spoiling her son and letting him get away with everything because he's a miracle and he's special. Everyone has always bit their tongue when it comes to her son because of that. On Saturday, I had my daughter's first birthday party. It was mostly family and a few of my close friends were invited. I invited Abby and her son because everyone else in our family was invited, so I felt bad excluding her. We had different activities for the kids to do. Abby's son didn't like any of them. He was upset none of the presents were for him. He didn't want to eat any of the food we had. He then decided to try and push the cake off the table because apparently he was mad the cake wasn't his. I got super upset at Abby for allowing her son to act that way. She went on to say her son is special. I said her son is only special to her, which is understandable. But to everyone else, he's a spoiled brat, which shouldn't be overlooked because he was your special miracle baby. Abby called me a bee and left crying. A few family members have since called me a jerk because I've never dealt with a miscarriage, so I don't understand how painful it was for Abby to deal with years of that before her son. It's not that I don't realize her son is special to her, but it doesn't give the excuse for Abby to allow him to act like a spoiled brat. While it's understandable that Abby cherishes her son due to her past struggles, it doesn't excuse allowing him to behave badly. It's essential to address behavior issues regardless of a child's background. OP was right to call out the behavior, and it's not about undermining her love for her son, but promoting discipline and respect. Our next post is by Unusual Tooth. Am I the jerk for telling my brother it's pathetic that he can't do the basics of what his wife did? I love my sister-in-law and brother. They have two kids and my sister-in-law Rachel was a kinda of stay-at-home mom. She worked from home part-time, but also took care of the kids and all the chores. I was over multiple times and the house was spotless. Really I thought she was just extra cleaning when she had guests, but no, when I had my kid she showed me her schedule. She would be up at 5 for meal prepping for the whole day. Like she never stopped, and a lot of her tips helped me with my own home. And my brother lost his job and it was decided that Rachel would go back to work full time, and he would stay at home. The kids are in kindergarten and first grade, he has this on easy mode. I've been over to help sometimes since he just sucks at it. The house is always a mess, the kids are usually late to school. He asked me to drive them after the school talked to him. He doesn't cook, it's just sad. He got in a huge argument with his wife since dinner wasn't done and she had to make it. He was ranting about how it's unfair and that he is trying. I told him it's pathetic he can't do the basic of what his wife did. He has 8 hours free and he can't keep the house clean. I told him she will divorce him if he doesn't stop being lazy and figure it out. He left after calling me a jerk, and my mom is now on me for what I said. Updates. I love my sister-in-law. My mom apologized to me. Rachel sent my mom what the kitchen and house looks like. The messages from the school and apparently a text argument about how he shouldn't be doing this. She gave him two options, get his stuff together or get out. I leaned a lot more about the situation and learned he wasn't packing the kids' lunches the last two days. I think he just broke his marriage. While OP was right to address the issue of the husband not pulling his own weight in terms of household chores, it might have been more effective to express their concerns in a gentler way. However, the core point remains valid. The husband needs to step up and contribute more to maintain a balanced partnership. Our next post is by Aggressive Buy. 
am I the jerk for calling my daughter's father spineless and his girlfriend creepy over their name choice for their daughter? A little bit of context for you all. I ended up falling pregnant with my 10-year-old daughter during a drunken hookup with a friend in my mid-20s. Not the most glamorous or flattering truth, but it's the truth all the same. When we found out we decided to keep the child and co-parent while remaining friends, we were never a couple and we didn't want to be one either. Four years ago he began to date his long-term girlfriend and they moved in together last year. She fell pregnant and I've been supportive to them both as much as I could be without crossing any lines. I've encouraged my daughter to help out whenever she's staying with them during the pregnancy and to behave. I've also made it clear that I want the children to have a close relationship, despite having different mothers. I've even said that if they were comfortable with it on nights, I have my daughter, if they ever want time alone, I'll babysit once they have the baby so my daughter can spend time with her sibling. All in all, I thought everything was great, and I was excited for my daughter to have a sibling, as she's always wanted one, but I had no interest in having another child. Three days ago my friend and his girlfriend had a daughter, they asked me to bring my daughter to the hospital to meet her little sister yesterday, alongside others of the family. So I did exactly that, but when they introduced us to the baby, I was shocked, they'd named used my daughter's name. She didn't seem to have any issue with this when she introduced the baby bold as brass. My friend seemed uncomfortable and wouldn't look at me directly. I asked them what they were playing at, at which point my friend's father said he'd take my daughter down to the cafeteria to get something to eat and left with her. My friend told me to calm down and not overreact while his girlfriend told me she didn't see the issue and it was a pretty name. I asked them if they'd named the baby for my daughter, trying to understand the logic here, but his girlfriend said that no it was just a pretty name she liked. I then asked if they planned to use a nickname or a middle name when addressing to her on a daily basis, and her response was that she didn't see a need for that. I told them they were being ridiculous and that they couldn't do this. I then told his girlfriend that I found this frankly creepy and told my friend he was being spineless if he was happy to go along with this. He tried to claim our daughter could use a nickname or something, but I shut that down immediately, asking why it was more reasonable for a girl who has used that name for a decade to change her name compared to a baby who had no concept of what a name was yet. His girlfriend told me I was being a bee talking to her like that after she just gave birth and asked the nurses to remove me saying I was being disruptive. Maybe my temper is running a little too hot though, and I was too harsh on her when she just gave birth. It's just so weird. Edit. I'd also like to state, I know that what they want to name their child is their choice. They could have called her Dinosaur for all I care, but this is one name that should be off limits or adjusted. They even have the same surname as they have the same father. Something about it just felt malicious and deliberate as if she's trying to replace my daughter and for them both to spring it on us like that at the first meeting, no, that was weird. I think OP is not the jerk. While it's their right to choose a name for their child, using the same name as your daughter, especially without discussing it with you first, is disrespectful and insensitive. Your reaction might have been emotional but it's understandable given the situation. Naming their child the same name as your daughter, especially without considering the potential confusion and emotions involved, could have been handled with more thought and empathy on their part. Our next post is by Cheap Arm. Am I the jerk for ditching my assigned bridesmaid at a wedding for one that is younger and a different race as me? I ended up leaving the wedding early, one of my good friends from college was getting married, call him Tom, who his wife, call her Liz, and asked me to be one of his groomsmen. I was honored. I haven't seen him in a while because I live across the country. When I arrived to his city, I was assigned a bridesmaid call her Kelly. Now Kelly is a lovely woman however. I think we were only assigned to each other because we are both black. Liz starts telling me that we are both single and perfect for each other but there was nothing to indicate that at all, besides us both being black. I should add as well, 
that Liz had a lot more bridesmaids than Tom had as groomsmen. The first night the entire wedding party went out, and it became clear that Kelly wanted to hook up. I was not into her at all so I kindly turned her down. She then starts interrogating me as to why. I try to give a generic answer, but she starts listing off all of the reason why we are so perfect together. I end up saying that I don't do the whole short-term type thing, and as we both live in completely different states, there is no future here. She ends up cooling off, but then tells me that she respects me more for that, and that I am a stand-up guy, and the type of guy that she is looking for. During the rest of the time we are there, one of the other unmatched bridesmaids, call her Jen, starts messaging me privately, and we hit it off. The next day wedding ceremony goes well, we have the reception, and me and Kelly do our entrance together, and then dance together for a bit. After a bit, I go to the bar, and Jen and I start to dance. At this point Kelly is giving me dirty looks. I just ignore it and continue having a good time. All is going well, until when I am at the bar, Kelly and the Liz confront me and start saying that me dancing with Jen is inappropriate. They start saying she is too young for me that it looks creepy. For what it's worth I am 32 and she is 24 about to turn 25. I am like oh it's okay me and Jen are just friends. Liz at this point is angry with me and starts saying that Jen is in college, she is doing her masters and that this is her wedding and she doesn't want to see that. Then Kelly starts saying that I must have a fetish for white women. At this point I realize that there is no logical argument I can make. I tell Kelly and Liz that I really enjoyed the wedding, but I need to go to bed early for my flight the next day. I leave and go up to my hotel. 15 minutes later Jen leaves early. 5 minutes after Jen came up, we both get kicked out of the wedding party chat. I later find out from Tom that Kelly was crying her eyes out, and that it messed up the night for Liz as well. He told me that he isn't mad at me, because he told Liz from the start that Kelly isn't going to be my type, but instead Liz really wanted to set Kelly up. At this point, I feel terrible that I made it so Liz was not able to enjoy her special night. As for Kelly, I just wish she got no means no. OP was voted not the jerk. OP attended the wedding as a groomsman, and even though he was assigned a bridesmaid, he had the right to interact with other guests and enjoy the event. The accusations and insinuations made by Kelly and Liz were inappropriate and uncalled for. OP didn't ditch anyone. He simply socialized with others at the wedding. It's unfortunate that it caused them distress, but that was obviously not his intention, and OP has every right to enjoy the event as he saw fit. Thank you for listening to the Reddit Chronicles. Follow for more content.